Hello everyone. I've been making candied suckers for a couple years now. I usually make them real spicy with uh, either habanero uh, pepper or uh, ghost peppers from the garden. But today, I wanted to do something different. I like to try to make some uh, bourbon flavored and another batch with uh, absent. Well, follow me in the kitchen and see how these turn out. All right, I'm back in the kitchen now. I'm gonna do the bourbon first, and I'll put all the uh, ingredients and measurements down in the uh, show notes below. But I'm gonna start off with a quarter cup of, of bourbon here. Not much. Get that out of the way. Then I'm gonna add three quarters cup sugar. and an eighth teaspoon salt. Now, I don't have the heat on right this second, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on, but I gotta put in three tablespoons of corn sugar. All right, that's in there. And then two uh, tablespoons of water. I can get the jar open or the bottle open. There's one and there's two. Get that out of the way. Now let me go ahead and turn this guy on. It's a little noisy. But I set it for, uh, what is it, 425? See if that'll do it. We want to keep stirring this until it gets to 300 degrees. When this thing gets to 300 degrees, I'm going to go ahead and shut it off and then add one more teaspoon of bourbon and then pour them in our sucker molds. So we'll just let that set till it comes to temp. And I'll be checking the temperature with one of these uh, the thermometers, the infrared thermometers. They work pretty good. You can actually shoot it in and out, and it's 99. We're about um, 99 degrees. Okay, we're about 240. Got another 60 degrees to go. And I have some food coloring uh, I was going to put in here, but I'm only going to do it to the absent. Uh, just maybe one or two drops of fluorescent uh, green. Uh, nothing for the bourbon. Looks like there's a nice brown haze to it anyway. We're past that 300 mark. I'm going to go ahead and shut it off. Now I'm gonna add about one teaspoon of bourbon. There we go. And give that just a, an easy stir there. Okay, we're ready to uh, pour our mixture in the uh, molds. All right, let's see if we can't uh, do this without messing up. It's a little foamy. Get a little bit more now. I didn't add any uh, food coloring, like I said. So they got a natural amber color, which is perfect. 
and I'm gonna have to wait till these cool all the way since I don't have enough molds to do the uh, the absent flavor. And the absent I think is gonna be really good. It should be able to get that nice licorice taste along with extra sugar here. All that foam went away. I'm not getting a lot of bubbles. So when I try the absent, I'm gonna let it cool for a couple minutes. Maybe that was my problem in the beginning. It was too hot. All right, this is gonna be it. Okay, we made uh, 24 suckers with that uh, recipe there. All right, I'm gonna do some absent uh, suckers now. So, just like before, we we'll pour a quarter cup of absent. And three uh, tablespoons of carol corn syrup. All right, let's start this guy. And last time when I did the bourbon, I was stirring it the whole time. I reread the directions on the Loran uh, oils, you know, like peppermint, cinnamon, the use and regular candy. I reread the directions and they said, don't stir it. Uh, just let it come to a boil at 300 degrees or until it reaches 300 degrees. So I screwed up the first time. So now I'm just going to stir it. until the sugar's melted and then leave it alone. And this time I am gonna use the food coloring. I'm gonna put a couple drops of neon green in there. This induction uh, cooktop here is pretty good. It gets the temperature pretty quick. Okay, looks like all the sugars are melted, so I'm just gonna leave it alone until it gets to 300. And right now, it's 175, 180. About 260. And I know from just doing the regular suckers with uh, no alcohol, uh, as soon as it gets around 260, it jumps right up to 300 pretty quick. Okay, we're getting close, we're at 290. Couple spots in there are 300. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and kill the heat. And I'm gonna pour another one teaspoon of absinthe in there. It's about teaspoon and then okay and here's our food coloring I just put two drops in there that's it let me stir this real I'm going to put uh, a total of five drops in. So I added three drops just then. All right, let's get these guys in the mold. Now there's that foam again. I'm making a mess a little bit. think I'm going to make as many as I did last time. Last time the bourbon 
We got 24 suckers. Well, looks like we are going to get 24. All right, we're done. I tasted both of them. I had a lot of uh, defects, so I had to eat all the defects. Uh, the bourbon, uh, I definitely would not do again. You can't really taste any of the bourbon. Um, so that was just a, it wasn't a big waste. It was only a quarter cup, but I would not do it again. And uh, Absent, definitely going to do it again. It doesn't have a real strong uh, licorice taste, but they're just a subtle. But it's really good. So definitely going to do the Absent again, but not with any type of bourbon. And remember, on that bourbon, I was stirring it the whole time. Don't do that. Uh, I can see a little bit of bubbles in the bourbon ones, and I think that's what was caused by me uh, stirring it or constantly stirring it. With absent, I did it like the direction said. Stir it until the sugar dissolves and then leave it alone until it boils and then just keep an eye on it until it gets to 300 and pull it. Add your uh, food coloring and one other uh, teaspoon of uh, absent or whatever you're doing. You know, if you're doing brandy, uh, bourbon, the absent, cherry uh, liqueur, Whatever it is, at the very end, take it off the heat. And if you're going to add some color, go ahead and do that. And add one other uh, teaspoon of that liquor to it. All right? Hope you enjoyed it. And if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe right up there. The round one is uh, subscribe. And uh, rectangle, it will be my playlist. All right? Until next time. Oh, okay, honey. All yours.